Hi guys, how are you? This is Deb. I'm here with a quick, I'm calling it a haul video, but I guess part of it is. Um, part of it's personal stuff that I bought for me. Um, but I went to this Tuscarora Lapidary Society uh, Gemarama show yesterday. And I was a good girl because right next door to it was the Sugarloaf Craft Festival. And I did not go in there. I only spent uh, $5 with a coupon to get in this. <laughs> the theme was agates everywhere. Agate is a type of stone um, which has comes in all different uh, colors because they, they dye it. But um, uh, I just go gaga in places like this because I love gemstones. So anyway, my daughter met me there with the two grand girls and we had a good time. But I was being really good, and then we found a booth that had rings, and I'm a ringaholic, okay, in addition to being paperaholic and all that kind of stuff. I love, as far as jewelry goes, rings are me. Um, so, I bought two rings. Um, now, garnet is my birthstone, but let me tell you, most of the garnet you find is really dark. And this garnet is just so beautiful. It almost looks like, um, I don't know, I can't explain it, but I love this ring. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty. I put that on. I went, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. It's mine. So, and actually what's weird is it's a size smaller than what I usually buy for me. So anyway, I, I got that one. And then this I got because it's unusual. It's golden rutilated quartz. Uh, you don't see too many rings in it, and the shape and the, and the, uh, what do they call those, uh, little striations, uh, are just uh, beautiful. Of course, the light just isn't gonna do it. There we go. Isn't that pretty, 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 pretty? So, yeah, I got me some rings, and then I started being good again, and looking at stuff, and the, you know, there was one booth there. They had pre, uh, jewelry already made. Uh, there's no way, like necklaces for three fifty, and they were hematite and I think cat's eye mostly. And cat's eye is pretty cheap, but um, but I can't make it for that. I mean, the bead strands alone cost that much. So I don't know whether they were made in China and they bought them wholesale or what. I got this. This was from a. Um, it's actually a local rock shop to me it's called TJ's I think it's called TJ's Rock Shop I think I have a card somewhere anyway um the only thing I got there is this little squirrel they had they had lots of um uh they're not made into jewelry they're just stones and things TJ's Rocks and Gem Crafts is what it's called um and they are local to me uh they do have a website www.gemsandrocks.com but all I got was this cute little squirrel carved out of stone. And they told me they don't do the carving. It's carved in Peru. So, and it's got little gems in the eyes. Very cute. Or painted eyes, I guess. Isn't he cute? So he's going to sit here with me. And then I did get a few beads. Um, not a lot. Because they, to me, they seemed pricey. Um, but I spent... How much did I spend? $76, including tax, on five, I think it's five strands of beads, which is absolutely absurd. But they're big strands. Um, so the first one I got, was, I think, was only $350. Did she give me itemized? $395. And re really what it is is silver-coated pyrite, uh, or silver-coated, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's pyrite silver-coated. I just thought they'd be good for spacer beads. And you get like a uh, 15 or 16 inch strand. Let me see. 15 inch strand. Almost. So pretty big. And then these are. They're a jasper. I'm going to forget what kind of jasper. But these were not on sale. Oh, I see. I just I bought a strand that has a bad bead. Darn. These are 8 millimeter. I, I think I've seen these before as Aquaterra 
Cotta Jasper, but I forget what they called them there. And some of them are um, almost clear blueish, like a milky um, aqua, and then some are like a terracotta color. So I thought they were beautiful, but they were $18 a strand, guys, for the 8 millimeter, and $16 a strand. I should not have gotten these, but I love the colors in them. Um, so yeah, and these are all, I'm pretty sure, 15 inch, yeah, because my, these are actually 16 inch strands, um, so a little longer than the other one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And that's all I got. They had so many pretty things. They had tourmaline, which I love, but I just couldn't pay, you know, $40 a strand for something like that. And I have some tourmaline. And other beautiful beads, too. And those, that seems really high to me for those jaspers. I'm going to have to look them up online and see how much I really overpaid. That's it. That is my haul from the Gemorama. I didn't go hog wild and I still with the rings and these at these prices I still spent over and lunch I spent over three hundred dollars in three hours so a hundred dollars an hour eat there's no way I make that much <laughs> so especially since I'm not really working except for my little jewelry business that's about to go out of business anyway um yeah that's all um so I got TJ's Rocks and Gem Crafts. I don't know if this gentleman gave me. Um, it's a shame because I can't remember the name of the booth where I got these rings. And he was so helpful. My daughter was trying on rings and said, Mom, come here. She knows I love rings. She ended up not buying a ring and I got two. How about that? And for me, my mom usually wears the same size as me. So maybe one of those will be gifted. I don't know, guys. Anyway, that's it. That's what I did yesterday. It was a fun day with the grand girls. They had a, they had a kids, uh, table where they could go make bracelets and little. Um, they had seashells and they could glue on, um, different things, gemstones, sequins, and stuff to make little creatures out of them. Um, they had demonstration classes, like mini classes and things. Uh, there was a lady there demonstrating wire wrapping, and I know Courtney went and watched her. I, I should have done that, too. I, I do some wire wrapping, but not I'm not great at it like uh, like she was. So, yeah, that's all I have. Like my little squirrel. <laughs> he looks a little lonely. I should have got two. Anyway, I'll have to get him a nut. I think I have an acorn I picked up off the ground. All right, guys. Let's talk to you soon. Hugs and love. Bye.